What's up gamers, Gamer Knight here. This is a guide to help you complete the Trailblazer TIE Quest, hit and deal damage with a recurve crossbow in a survival world. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that button and show me that support, and don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. I greatly appreciate your support. So you're gonna wanna do this challenge a little bit later on, and it's potentially gonna be your final one you're gonna do, actually stage four. That's because there are some requirements, and you do need to hit and deal damage three different times with the recurve crossbow, by the way. So how are you gonna make a, or craft a recurve crossbow? You're gonna need to have a lumber mill and a crafting bench. And you're also gonna have to have a spinning wheel. So you're gonna start off with the crafting bench, then the lumber mill, work on your village a bit, and then eventually you're gonna be able to build a spinning mill and you're gonna build that. So just looking at this, on you, once you have a crafting bench, you can move along at the top and you'll see the recurve crossbow, which requires wooden rods and cord. So how do you get wooden rod and cord? Well, you use the lumber mill to make the wooden rod and you use the spinning wheel to make the cord. So here is the lumber mill. If I go down to the wooden rod, I could push X here to select the recipe. And for one thing of wood, I can make a wooden rod. So no matter how much wooden rod you need, you're gonna collect wood and then you're gonna process it there. Then you're going to come over here and you're gonna use vines to make yourself cord. And you can see it needs five vines to make one cord. And that is all that's needed. So I have plenty of vines. I'll show you how to get vines in a moment. But so I'm selecting the recipe for cord with X, then I'm pushing upwards on the D-pad to set how many of those cords I want. And then they'll go about. So here's how you get vines. You can either collect corn, and when you do, there'll be a vine laying on the ground. You'll get the corn as well as the vine. And there's also pumpkins as well. These can be found in, you know, pretty good uh, amounts around the map. So this is pumpkins, you say collect pumpkin, you get the pumpkin and then the vines are also laying there on the ground. So once you've got all of your materials, you'll go back to your bench there in the lumber mill. So with the lumber mill, I'm gonna craft the missing wooden rods I need. I've already crafted my cord from the vines that I had. And so I can come over to the crafting um, bench here, which I have upgraded once, by the way. But um, we've got the recurve crossbow. I've got my five wooden rods, and I have my one core. So I'm going to push square to craft. And now I at least have the weapon I need. Now I need to do damage with this. You can't use a crossbow without having arrows. Now I found arrows on the ground or within chests, because you can find chests around the map. You can now see I, doubt, I do now have a, a recipe, though. Because I have the recurve, I can now build... Arrows, and what do I need for arrows? I need wood, and I need feathers. So again, wood, easy to pick. Chop down trees, pick up the wood. Find wood twigs on the ground, pick up the wood. The feather, you need to find chickens, and you'll use a weapon, like the short sword, or you can use your fist, it really doesn't matter. Each time you kill a chicken, you'll get meat and a feather. You can see I'm getting feathers in the bottom left corner there. So that's how you'd get a feather if you didn't have one already. And so now that I have those requirements, if I needed to make arrows, I come back to the crafting bench. I use L2 and right 2 at the top. I'm going to go across to arrows. And as long as I have the required items, I will push square to craft. And I've got the wood and I've got the feathers. One wood, one feather per arrow. So you need a minimum of three arrows, right? And that's assuming that you do perfect shots because you need to do this three times. Hit and deal damage three different times. So once you've got the recurve crossbow, once you've got your arrows set, you're ready to go on a hunt. So... You can hunt pretty much anything, and you've got the chickens as an option, you've got the sheep, and you've got wolves. The sheep are nice because they're easy, they're big targets, and so you'll just kind of point, you'll get the the recurve crossbow, you'll get it in your inventory, and you'll just start shooting at stuff. Take your time so you don't waste your arrows. There's two of three. I'll do it one more time. I'm just going to kind of wander around. Wolves are you know pretty easy to find because you'll see the exclamation marks over them they're kind of hostile towards you they will attack you on your own you've got those guys there i'm actually just going to shoot uh one of these cows as my my last victim and once i get my third hit then the challenge will be complete so i hope the guide is helpful please drop a like leave me a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do hit that button and show me that support and don't forget to use my creator code in your fortnite item shop it is gamerdad all one word all capital letters. Thanks so much for your support. Good luck with the challenge. And until the next video.
This is Gamer Dad.